Hi everyone. Today we're going to cook a meal. And I've talked about this meal before, but I've never showed it to all of you. This is my ground beef vegetable soup. It's like home cooking, but my style. It's really easy to do. So the ingredients are ground beef and soup. Now I normally use the Progresso. They have two different varieties of vegetable soup. They have one it's called garden vegetable and another one called vegetable, Progresso. Either of those is great. You can use all different kinds of soup. So what we're doing is we're taking vegetable soup and we're turning it into vegetable beef soup by putting ground beef in it. And this is so good on a chilly day and a bag of Lay's potato chips. Oh my gosh. I couldn't find any of the vegetable soup, but what I got, this is Progresso Beef Pot Roast Country Vegetable. This works just fine. It has the same flavor as their vegetable soup. Now some soups like Campbell's with the sirloin burger, now that's got some fake meat, smoked meat taste in it. That's really not good. So this, I was able to find this in town at one of the dollar stores actually. And this works just fine. It has a very small amount of pieces of pot roast in it. Um, and I like the flavor. It's just like putting the, the straight up vegetable soup in. So this is what I'm gonna be using today. So the first thing I do is I cook up the ground beef. Now, I learned an easier way to cook it is I cook it right in the saucepan. So I just dumped a couple of clumps of ground beef in there. As soon as I set the camera down, I'm gonna break that up. Um, so I cook it right in the saucepan that I'm gonna put the soup in here in a minute. Um, so let's get this ground beef cooked up and then we can go on to the next step. And Lefty sure did come inside. As soon as he smells me get the ground beef out, he's right inside. He's laying right, right down in the floor on his bed. So I break this up pretty thoroughly. Not quite as much as I do for taco meat, but break it down pretty small. So kind of crumbly. Let me get the heat turned back up a little. I turned it down a little much. Now, once that cooks up, um, you're gonna wanna pour off some of the juice. Now, don't pour it all off because you want some of that ground beef grease, basically, fat in the soup. Uh, it gives it more flavor, I'll say. Um, so depending on what kind of ground beef you use, this is 80-20 from the, the meat department of Coyote in town. It has quite a bit of pour off that needs to be done. Um, if I leave it cooking long enough, a lot of that will, the water and all that will cook off. But I'll show you uh, how much of it I leave in there uh, after I do the pour off. Because it really does help add flavor to the soup. Now the other part of this meal that we're going to cook today, we're going to do grilled rolls. These are the snowflake rolls that they have in town. So I take these, I slice them in half, I butter them up, and I fry them on the griddle flat frying pan. So we're going to have beef soup and grilled rolls and I do have some Lay's potato chips. Woo! really important when you're buttering these that you get it all the way out to all the edges. Very important. My dad taught me that. 
All right, here we go. And yes, I'm making so many, I can't even fit them on the plate. <laughs> All right, I'm thinking this is ready for pour off. I don't, I don't give it to Lefty anymore. I used to, but he was getting a little chubby. See, there's not a lot in here because I let it cook. So I did leave this pretty juicy because it does really help the flavor of the soup. See, it looks good already. Now give this a stir. We'll get the lid on it and let it simmer. See that? You can see the oils on top. I wish you could smell it. That smells so good. So I'm just going to let it simmer for a bit. Best thing from today. John? Roy says killer going down today. I got your name from Jackie O'Neill. Come on in. I'll be right there. We have a system. I'm going to call that done. Now what I do, because that's obviously really hot, I take it out and I put it in the bowl and let it cool. And so while it's cooling, I'm going to go ahead and get these bun started up on the grill over here. So I'm going to get this out into the bowl right now. I have poured it all in, but uh, this bowl is a smaller, I used to have a bigger diameter bowl, but it broke. And this one, I'm afraid to try to pour it in there that it'll overflow on the sides. Perfect. It preheat the griddle before you put the buns on. There we go. You gotta get the griddle nice and hot before you put them on. And then you turn the flame down some. Now I do use a, a spatula here to help press them. And then when you flip them over, you wanna be able to press down and the butter's really hot when you flip them over. So you don't wanna use your fingers and ask me how I know that. <laughs> so now they're just grilling. The flame is down and the ones in the middle are gonna cook faster on my stove anyway. So I have to do a, a little bit of rotating there, a little Jenga work. Mm. I wish I had some apple butter. That's what my dad used to do, is put apple butter on them. When you flip them over, slide them around a little so they get some butter on them that's on the pan. Press them down so they're making good contact. Mm. Mm. Perfect. Oh. So good. Now that is
is a plate of goodness. Oh my gosh. Now this is a good, good lunch. Here we go. I'm gonna be watching uh, Sharp Objects on HBO Max. Really freaky. It only lasted one season. Very uh, psychological type show. Oh boy. Look at this. See the ground beef in there? It just makes it such a great meal. It really does. Mmm. Oh my gosh. I could live on those, I swear. Mmm. <laughs> little potato, little carrot, little ground beef. I think it might be a little warm. I maybe should have waited a little longer, but I couldn't. I was hungry. Mm. That is so good. Ground beef, a can of Progresso vegetable soup. There's, you can try all different kinds of soups. So great and so simple, really so easy. I do about a half a pound of ground beef, so this is a pretty hearty bowl of soup. You don't have to do that much, but that's, that's what I put in there just now. Well, I'm going to chow down on this. And I'm probably going to make all kinds of noises. And I don't want to put all of you through that. All the scraps you left all over the place holy smokes every time I put that thing out though he wants to get it so I am attempting I'm attempting to become a drone operator and what I mean is I want to use a drone to shoot video for all of you because it's in, in a lot of places it's really difficult to capture uh, the enormity of what's happening and the contrast of how small we sometimes are when we're in different locations. You know, our world right here, we're pretty set up. Uh, this is not a small footprint right here. You know, when you walk up on it, we've got a lot of stuff. You know, this is more than like just having a little pop-up tent. We have quite a footprint. But if you compare us and you look at us in the context of this area around here, so small. We just took a really long walk. We went, well, we started this direction here and then made our way up onto the road there, then crossed to the other side and walked really long distance that way and then back onto the road and back this way and all the way down there. And we probably laid our eyes on I don't know, a thousand rigs of all different types, all different sizes, really interesting looking stuff. And I would like to be able to show that to all of you better than I can with a camera in my hand or, or even a camera on the motorcycle. You know, seeing it from above, I think right here is really how it needs to be seen. So flying a drone, something I've never done, and I'm not a video game guy, like I think people that have done video game and joystick work might be able to pick up a drone and fly it really easily that's not me <laughs> I'm not that guy and I've never had a drone every time I've sat down and started looking at a, a possible drone that I would want to buy for the channel I end up down this rabbit hole of you know promises made and features outlined and camera resolution 8k and all this stuff and I know better um, 
you know, there are some tried and true names of drones and I can definitely go and spend that five or $600 and buy the one that's gonna do the stuff. The one that I saw on a channel that I really fell in love with, I can't think of the name now, but they used it to do a follow me on, as they rode uh, a motorcycle around a motocross track. And this thing did so great. It followed this guy so smoothly around the tight corners and everything. And just by looking at the, the shots of the drone in the video, they showed it, I looked it up and it's a thousand dollar drone. I'm like, well, no wonder it did all that stuff so great. But So I'm nowhere near spending a thousand dollars or even 500 because I'm afraid to break it. You know, I'm that kind of person where I'd be afraid to break it. Tara, my friend Tara, for Christmas, she got me a drone. And this is what you'd call an entry level, very entry level. You know, it's under $50 for sure. It has two cameras on it, one that points straight down and then another that you can adjust manually from the front there. Uh, has a remote here. You can also put your phone on here and there's an app that I've installed that lets you see through the camera and record video and take still shots and all that. You know, I tried it out, but I've been playing with this thing the last several days and I've gotten competent enough with it that I can take it off, fly it around and land it again. You know, when I first started doing it, I was running into the truck and it was ending its flights not by my choice because I was running into stuff uh, or hitting the ground. The last five flights, I've been able to take it off, fly it around and land it again. And actually yesterday I did it twice where I went through the whole battery usage in one flight, flying it around and then it landed itself because the battery was getting low. But Tara's, Tara's idea with getting me one of these, and it's a great idea, is for me to get used to flying a drone with one that's not going to break the bank if it happens to get destroyed because I'm not good at it. So I want to keep playing with this thing, getting to where I can fly it around really comfortably and to where I, to where I get to feel like I'm, I'm ready for the next step. So that's what I'm playing with here today. I find that in the mornings like this early, the, the wind, it's very still out here. So I'm going to give it a shot right now and play with this a little longer. The battery only lasts like six minutes, seven minutes maybe. So not very long at all. So this will be over really quickly. to practice my control. So thanks for watching the video. Everybody take care, be safe, and we'll see y'all again really soon. Mmm. Mmm. So good. It hurts. Mmm. What a great meal.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 